Hi, I'm uh, Robert Patterson. I was uh, one of the first two uh, awardees of the, uh, the Ross Scholarship. Uh, I, I actually received it here uh, about eight, well, nine years ago. And uh, Amos and uh, Andrea have been with us every year. I think we missed you last year, though. Welcome back. Thank oh, okay. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good reason. Um, it's good to see everybody here again today. Uh, certainly uh, Dr. and Mrs. Rawls, um, Mr. Maurer, uh, Cynthia Holmes Gardner, people who have been involved with the program since uh, its inception. Uh, I now am in residency at the University of Louisville in uh, psychiatry, uh, possibly going into child fellowship. And uh, although I come back up here often, uh, I don't get back up here quite enough. Uh, coming back here is like a family reunion, and uh, I'm always glad to see everybody here. One of the things that I think there is about families is that you try to come together to meet common challenges. And the thing about this scholarship is we have a very large challenge, not just here in the state, but across the country in terms of health care disparities. Um, Generally, we cite a lot of statistics about this, and most of the people who have been here before hear those statistics. But the, the truth of the matter is that because there aren't as many minority physicians across the country, and particularly here in Indiana, the health care, according to studies, is not as adequate as it could be. And one of the things that we wanted to try to do was to make sure that when we, the minority students that we trained here, A, would stay here, and would feel good about serving in this community for an extended period of time. That's one of the great things that the Raw Scholarship has done uh, in conjunction with the Escalapian Society, the Society of African American or Minority Physicians here, and I use School of Medicine. They've made us feel very comfortable. And I can tell you myself, I can't wait to come back because this is like my home. I think that the opportunities, though, to help people as far as trying to make sure that the health care system is better, one of the things that's really critical is the fact that we're doing the right thing. This is a moral issue. When you have an infant mortality rate that is two and a half times for African Americans in Indiana that it is for Caucasians, that's a moral issue. Dr. King said back in 1964, he said that of all the inequities, injustice in health care is the most egregious is the most egregious. And when he said this, the infant mortality rate for African Americans versus Caucasians was, guess what, two and a half times. It hasn't changed. So we have a moral issue to get this done. One of the things families, I think, also do is they acknowledge each other's contributions as they go forward in doing the right things with health care. One of the people that we're going to honor tonight, and I don't want to steal uh, the thunder, is uh, Dr. Keith Woodard who was a, a very close friend of mine. For those who don't know Dr. Woodard, they will be introduced to him tonight, and you won't even begin to get a glimpse of the individual that he was. He was very humble, very caring, very loving individual, worked as an anesthesiologist, mostly at St. Vincent's. And, he, and it, over the course of his career, he did about 12 mission trips, eight to the continent of Africa, he went uh, to Indonesia for the tsunami. He also went to New Orleans for uh, uh, health care after uh, Hurricane Katrina. This is the type of individual that this scholarship is going to help produce. Dr. Woodard understood very deeply that the individual contributions that we make, although they may not be on a very large scale, they're all Im important. Because you have these large challenges, it doesn't mean that your individual contribution doesn't matter, no matter how small, because if you couple that with compassion and commitment, then you can get the job done. He believed in that, and I believe that that's the path that we're on here today. The last thing I think families do is they promote growth. They grow. They get stronger. We've seen that the, um, over the last few years, we've gotten Lily to, on board, and we've gotten a lot of other people on board as far as doing large donations. What we need to do, though, are also to get the smaller contributions, whether it be 20 whether it be $50, whether it just be word of mouth, to get it out to people to make sure that there is more of an opportunity to serve and create and endow this scholarship than just this dinner. People can make individual contributions at any time. We appreciate your support. We think this is a great thing that we're doing here for our state and our community, and I thank you all very much for helping.